Well, because of the cloud cover that we are experiencing out there today, it is a little bit cooler than it was yesterday, but by early January standards, almost mid January at this point, how crazy is that? It's not that chilly overall. We still have a few places like Winchester over toward Woodstock, still in the 30s, but pretty much all of us have at least climbed back up into the low and mid 40s. And given that we are not expecting to see much more sunshine the rest of today, we're pretty much going to continue to see these 40s locked in place. And it's a pretty similar story anywhere you look across the mid-Atlantic and northeast with 30s and 40s, pretty much the common temperature to be found. Now there's a good look at that cloud cover. Again, we are lucky enough to see a few breaks in a few spots like Cumberland across I-68 and I-70 into Hagerstown and then up into northeastern Maryland, but northern Virginia back toward West Virginia locked in with those gray skies at the current moment. So these clouds, the best way to describe them is pesky and they're going to stick around the rest of the day today. Now we will see a little bit of clearing tonight before another wave of clouds rolls in on Wednesday, but we are going to continue to stay dry that entire time up until some isolated showers make their way in late on Wednesday night and then another wave of steadier rainfall is expected late in the day on Thursday mostly into your Thursday night. That will be our one stretch of soggy weather for this week. And then a cold front will sweep across the area, make things breezy on Friday as things dry out to the east. But given that we will drop temperatures a little bit and there's going to be some backside moisture with this latest system, some snow showers are likely to develop across the mountains on Friday, but no concern of snowfall anytime soon over the next few days for anybody here. We're just going to continue to see those waves of clouds making their way across the viewing area all the way through today. There's that clearing I mentioned for tonight going into the start of your Wednesday morning. We will get a little bit of sunshine for a few hours, but just as quickly those clouds start to roll back into the picture tomorrow for the late morning into the afternoon. And then like I I mentioned it stays dry all the way up until Wednesday night and that's when that first bit of rainfall is likely to develop mostly over West Virginia and Western Maryland, but a few of those showers could make it all the way over to the I-95 corridor and the DC Metro by Thursday morning. Just enough to make things a bit soggy, but we're not talking about any sort of prolonged rainfall until we get later in the day on Thursday. So that's the good news there if you're looking to avoid any of that soggier weather, but it's eventually going to start to make its way into the picture. No doubt about it. Now temperature wise, well, things are going to stay a little bit cool, but not all that bad this afternoon, staying in those low to mid 40s in most locations tonight. Given the fact that we break up the clouds for a bit, we will see those low temperatures drop down to if not slightly below the freezing mark. And then once again tomorrow, with a mostly cloudy sky. Expect those temperatures to be right about the same as today, mid to upper 40s. There's that soggier weather again for that brief time going toward the end of the week. Mountain snow showers will continue into the start of the weekend, and then we see the sunshine return with temperatures staying in the 40s.